everybody. Hey, I just want to quickly show this new data logger, um, power meter slash data logger I picked up on eBay. Um, I've been using a kilowatt to kind of monitor my mining machine, how much power I'm using and everything. And, and it's great, but I kind of want something where I could log the data and um, kind of view it later and over time and see how much I'm spending over time without having to, you know, write it down, check on the, the kilowatt meter, write it down on my little notebook and everything. So anyways, um, they don't make these anymore, but you can still find them on eBay relatively cheap. And I mean, this one costs like 250 bucks new. I think it was like 230 or 240 was the list price. Um, I picked it up for 35 bucks. There, there seems to be a lot of them out there. Um, this one's a dot, dot .NET version, which gives you like, it, it's got a built-in web server so you can hook it up um, to your home network. Or they used to have like a website you could do, but, but since these aren't made anymore, the website's down and, and it's kind of, there's no support on these basically. But um, supposedly, if I understand it right, I can use APIs and I can set up my own little server to have it automatically update the information to my server. So anyways, I'm going to give it a try, play around with it. But um, even if you don't want to use that functionality, you know, it's great just as like a, like a kilowatt where you can go in and you can see, I mean, it's, it's really simple, but you can see, you know, like right now my mining rig here is running 500 watts. So, um, you know, you can just... Uh, you know, the minimum was zero when I had it off. The max it's hit is 512. Uh, you know, power factor, um, amps, different modes. Um, you know, 9.2 kilowatt hours. Um, my monthly average running is going to be about 360 kilowatt hours. Um, what's really cool is you can program in your price, how much you pay per kilowatt hour for electricity. Let me go in here. So right now, um, since I... I, I restart this up I've spent about a dollar ten on power and my monthly average at this 500 watts is going to be forty three point two dollars um I don't know so it's a nice feature just being able to look at it on the meter itself like a kilowatt um does because I have a kilowatt p3 also which I've been previously using but the real benefit of this is it'll it has memory inside the machine so it's gonna um store all these readings and it can take sample rates of as fast as one second. Um, right now, I currently have it set up to sample every minute. But um, then you can this hooks up to your to your PC through this USB, and then I'll show you the software real quick. But you can um, you can graph everything, you can chart everything. Um, so you can just you know when you're trying to optimize your video cards for power, you can you know see how much you can get it lower. I mean, it, it's just really cool, and the price is thirty five bucks. At least that's what I paid. I've seen them cheaper, and I've seen them. I mean, some of them are still up in like the hundred dollar range, but um, but if you look around, you, you can get them pretty cheap. So, anyways, let's go. Uh, let me show you on the PC real quick. Um, you know, I'm just gonna do this real quick with my phone. Um, I do have. If you go to my website, um, I kind of did a full review where you can see like some better pictures of the graphs and everything, and you can get more information on it. Um, I just want to do a quick video to kind of just kind of show it off because I, I thought it was really cool. And for the price, um, even though there's no support, again, I had to buy this used. It's still, you know, a really neat power meter that's also a data logger. Okay. Yeah, well, be with the mining machine. So, okay. Right now, I'm just mining some uh, Zen cache. So I have my miner running. I'm going to go up to my... Go up to the software. And then, um... I'm going to requests the data. So basically it's pulling it in from the machine right now. Just gonna give a quick demo. Da, 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 da. Take a second. And it, it also depends on how many records you have, like and also your sample rate. Like I was playing around for an hour sampling everything, you know, every second. Which is kinda interesting, but let me go view graphs. Okay, so right now Here's, let me expand this a little bit. Sorry, I should have done a screen capture on this now that I see how crappy it's going to probably look. But anyways, it's got 18 things that you could, um, 18 parameters. So, like, I'm just looking at watts right now, and you can see, okay, I've been since 2 p.m. yesterday, I've been hanging around 500 watts. Here's a few times when I was kind of trying some different mining programs. But, so you can see how it changes. Um, you know, you can 
do 3D graphs too and stuff like that if you want to do like a 3D graph. Um, anyways, I, I got some probably better examples on my website if you want to go check it out. Um, monthly average, um, some average between about 363 and then when I, when I play around with the machine, of course it changes it. But right now I'm averaging about, you know, between 359 and 360 um, kilowatt hours per month. Anyways, it's really cool. You can save all the data. You can pull it back. Um, let's just go into here real quick. I'll show you kind of the meter settings that you can push. Um, basically, I set up my price as, you know, uh, 12 cents per kilowatt hour for where I'm at. Um, the interval, I'm, you know, pulling data every every minute. And this, with the memory installed in this thing, I get about 10 days pulling every second. Um, but I'm also logging a few separate things. So if I was to... I don't care about monthly cost. I don't want to save this stuff. Let's say I just want to look at my watt and my watt hours. Um, and then I was to go back to interval. Now I got 30 days. So of course it depends on what you're capturing. I mean you can only store so many records in the machine before you pull it. But I think once it's hooked up to a web server it will be a little different. Now one other thing I also read was... It sounds like I can use this to remotely power cycle, um, turn the power off to my rig and, you know, remotely power cycle it, which would be really cool. Haven't even really looked into that yet. Um, anyways, uh, that's it. Really just a quick review. Um, again, you can go to the website to see more and get the information on it, but I mean, really cool for, you know, 35 bucks. Um, if you're into data and, and kind of looking at stuff like this, you might like it. Talk to you later.